I'm Juliet and this is Nicola and we're from Love Food Hate Waste and today we're cooking a hearty root vegetable soup with lentils followed by a tasty uh, tomato and basil sauce with pasta and then we're going to be finishing off with um, a delicious fruit compote with vanilla yogurt. Do you want to put the Do you want to put the lentils in now? Yeah. Do you want to? Would we be wanting a little bit more liquid if we can get it in there? I think we will because it will all get soaked up. Yeah. Yeah. We turn it down a bit to a bit of a simmer. Yeah. But you can make that with like leftover vegetables if you've got any. Yeah, any yeah. leftover vegetables. So it's, it's just um, and it's just it's just great in the in the winter, isn't it? You know? Yeah, you do want a nice. Hearty bowl of soup in the winter, I find. Yeah. I often, I usually have a pan of soup on every week at home. And that's just, you know, I'm working all day and if I'm at home for lunch, I have a pan of soup, a big bowl of soup for my lunch, with or without bread. If I've got some bread, I have it, and if I haven't, I don't. I just have a second bowl instead. Okay, that's fine. We're going to keep the garlic nice and low for you. We're not going to overpower you. Could I have the olive oil, please? We have got the recipe for this, haven't we? We have, yes. Yeah, it's on the website. And don't be alarmed, I'm actually using a reasonable amount of olive oil here. Um, because if you don't use a reasonable amount of olive oil in a tomato, in a tomato sauce, it, it ends up just like tomato puree, which is, is not that great. And the olive, the olive oil just sort of helps bring it all together. Um, the, chopped, the tinned tomatoes, which you can either buy chopped tomatoes or whole, it doesn't really matter, and the um, fresh tomatoes can pretty much all go, they can kind of go in together. Maybe I'll give the, the fresh tomatoes a, a bit of a, yeah. a bit like of head soft, start, because yeah. they're, they're not as, they're not, you know, they're not as soft as, as, as some of the kids. Yeah, so. garlic. Yeah, we'll have the garlic in. There we go, we should be, oh, we should hope it's still bringing in, won't it? <laughs> Either that would make them go run, run for the hills. Oh, it's full of garlic. It's important not to, not to burn your garlic. It doesn't taste good when it's, when it gets over toasted and a bit burnt. It gets, it goes a bit bitter. So, before we get that happening, it's good to get something else in the pan with it. I know, I'm hoping the fire alarm is going to go off. I didn't spot it earlier. That's my trick. Those windows don't look like they're, they, they want to open in a hurry. And anyway, we don't think we want that cold, that very, very cold air coming in, do we? Once you um, once your fresh tomatoes just start to soften down, they break down quite quickly. The skin start peeling off quite soon and start softening. Once that starts happening, which is about now, it's probably time to chop some chop some tin tomatoes in. These are just a value ones. You can get tomatoes of all, all prices really. I tend to go for the, a bit harder to find, I tend to go for the ones that, are, that don't have citric acid in the most tin tomatoes they put citric acid in as, a, as an acidity regulator I think. Is it an acidity regulator? Yeah. Um, I prefer to I prefer to look around for the ones that have just got tomato in, but um, they tend to be the organic ones really. But I'm, I'm lucky that I've got a shop near me that sells them at a good price, but but most supermarkets charge you through the nose for organic stuff. So that's just going to cook away nicely. I'm going to put the lid on. Tomatoes have a habit of having a good old spit, and it's, they get very, very hot, obviously, in the pan, so you don't want them spitting on you. I've got one of those little mesh things that's got some kind of yeah, pan lid that is like splash a it. spit guard. But, um, yeah, you have to watch the spitting tomato. 
<laughs> it's often the way, if you, if you make bolognese sauce, you get the, the volcano effect, don't you? And if you're not careful, you get a face full of it, which is obviously not really good for you. Right, so that will just cook down um, for, I'll give, it, I'll give that a sort of about five or ten minutes, and then we'll pull, I'll probably switch, maybe switch it off for a bit, actually, yeah. because we don't want to... Um, we're, go we're going to put the pasta into the sauce. Normally when I make pasta and tomato sauce, I would use bigger pasta and then just put the sauce on the top you know, with, with parmesan or cheese or whatever. But um, we've got to load this small pasta to use up, so we're going to do it as one, as one pot. Um, and I will need to add a little bit more liquid than I would normally to a tomato sauce because obviously the pasta will absorb liquid. And then we'll, we'll, we'll serve it all in, in, in one little pot. Um, we don't put the basil in till the very end um, because we don't want it to cook down too much. We just want to, we want to keep the keep the flavour. So you tear that up or chop that up and put that in at the last minute. If you were using dry basil instead, you would put that on put that in much earlier in the cooking process because you've got to kind of let let it absorb the liquid and get the flavour out of it that way. Now, we're going to use a combination today of, these are kind of quite ripe-ish, quite ripe tomatoes. You can get, the good, the, the good thing with this sauce is you can, you know, if you get tomatoes and they've they're, they're started to go a bit oh, soft and a bit wrinkly, <laughs> it's great to chuck them in a pan with some olive oil and a bit of garlic because they make a great pasta sauce. Yeah. Today we're going to do a combination of using fresh tomatoes and some tinned tomatoes or you can use, uh, there's also we've got some tomato puree with us as well, we've got a bit of tomato ketchup, there's all sorts of tomato yeah, yeah. things. I normally when I'm making my tomato sauce I tend to use tinned tomatoes because I've always got them in and um, plenty of olive oil and, and, and garlic and just let it cook down a bit. But it's a, really, it's a really good way to use up your fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes can be a bit pale compared to tinned tomatoes. So that's often when you, you need to kind of make the sauce taste a little bit richer with a good squirt of tomato puree. That all works really well. So I'm just going to chop up these tomatoes now. Would you do me a favour? Would you mind? Are you doing the, you're doing the garlic? When you've yeah. done the garlic, would you mind opening those yeah. a couple of tins? And it doesn't matter how you chop these because we're going to cook them all down anyway. Mm -hmm. If you want to be fancy about it, you can plunge all your tomatoes into a bowl of, of really hot water so the skin's split and you can take the skins off. But it's all going to pretty much cook down. Um, and not many people I know can be bothered to do that. Jamie Oliver, <laughs> that's his job, isn't it? And tomatoes obviously are really good for you. Really kind of rich in antioxidants, which, um, which all fight the bugs. Loads of vitamin C. I think there's loads of vitamin C in tomatoes, mm -hmm. isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> How many tins do you want? Um, I'm thinking. With, it's not. I think maybe just one, don't yeah. you? Because otherwise, we're going to end up with far too much food for everybody. I'll find the softest. Tomato. That's a soft one. That's a I don't mind, anyone can come in. The more the better. I'll turn that down a bit more. The trouble with electricity, you see, it's not as controllable as gas. No. See, I can't go from gas. Can you not? I was done from electricity. Okay. I struggle. I do struggle with gas. Well, see, I think gas hobs are really easy to use because the, you know you turn it down, it goes down. You turn it up, it goes yeah. up. Electricity, yeah. you've got to wait five minutes, haven't you? Well, if you've always cooked with that. But yeah, you always cook with that. You know how to it. anticipate you know, you know, what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah my mum could never cook with um, with gas. She never ever did. Right. That's cooking away. Okay. okay, and here's the finished product, the winter veg and lentil soup.